Before The Boys or Invincible, Watchmen was one of the first graphic novels to take comic book superheroes and give them a gritty noir twist. Both the comic and the movie are filled with stories of costume vigilantes of varying powers and skills. The most powerful of them all, Jonathan Osterman, aka Dr. Manhattan, leaves all the rest in the dust, so to speak. Warning, spoilers lie ahead. Having grown weary of the conflict and drama on Earth, Dr. Manhattan decides to go to Mars for a little peace and quiet. There he makes a giant castle from the Martian dust. While he may possess godlike powers, he still has the experiences of a man, and this is what he seems to draw on as he makes his fantastic edifice. Notice that the structure has lots of clock-like features. He is clearly drawing on his formative experiences as a child, way before his blue period, when he worked with his father making clocks. But just what is this structure made out of? Is this supernatural, or could this be pulled off in real life? Let's figure it out. Aside from his own imagination and abilities, he is also pulling raw material from the Martian surface, with a lot of feldspar, pyroxene, and olivine present, as well as loads of iron oxide, Dr. Manhattan has plenty of elements to work with. First, let's suppose he's using one of the most abundant elements available on the surface of Mars. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you a hint. It's the reason Mars is nicknamed the Red Planet. It's iron. I see where they're going with this. There is so much iron oxide dust blowing around Mars that its sky can look orangey pink. All this iron would make for a very strong construction, and it's a common building material. Uncommon, however, is that Dr. Manhattan's creation appears to be somewhat crystalline and transparent in some places. But when have you ever seen transparent iron? Believe it or not, this actually has a real-world counterpart often found in some types of sunstone. Hematite and gertite are both materials composed of iron and oxygen, though gertite has just a touch of Dr. M's favorite element, hydrogen. FYI, that symbol he burns onto his forehead is actually the atomic structure of hydrogen. Though usually opaque, hematite and gertite can occur as thin section platelets inside some oligoclase feldspars from India and Africa. They have a reddish appearance and can be translucent to transparent. Unfortunately for our all-powerful architect, both hematite and gertite are quite brittle and would make poor building blocks for his crystalline castle. Gertite, in particular, has one perfect cleavage plane, so his tricked-out crystal cruiser would shatter on the first bump in the road. We know he's contemplating pink sand, and that gives us a clue as to what he's thinking before he makes his crystal palace. Since sand, on Earth, is primarily composed of silicon dioxide in the form of quartz, we might then suppose that his construction is made of rose quartz, given its pink color. While massive quartz can be tough, the crystalline nature of his fantastic fabrication would likely be more brittle, as is gem-quality quartz. However, given the nature of rose quartz, it looks like his crystal castle might be made of something else entirely. Rose quartz, and the more transparent pink quartz, get their color from either microscopic inclusions or, in the more transparent pink quartz, from trace amounts of phosphorus and aluminum. Given the composition of the Martian soil, it's more likely the pink color is from iron, and in this case, Dr. Manhattan's creation is a new amalgam of crystalline quartz reinforced with iron. Neat. Finally, we must remember that Dr. Manhattan wasn't a geologist or a gemologist, merely a nuclear physicist. Sorry, John, don't bleak me out of existence. This is apparent as he refers to the pink sand running through his fingers as silicone, which is a man-made complex polymer, rather than silica, a much simpler natural mineral, aka quartz. But what happens when a godlike being with the ability to alter reality makes a mistake? Well, he just creates a new reality. In this case, Dr. Manhattan had created his rosy refuge out of an entirely new material. It's most likely a combination of his understanding of sand and silicone and the matter of the Martian surface. Imagine a crystalline structure with the crystallinity and color of pink quartz, the versatility and insulative properties of silicone, and the toughness of iron. Wow! Dr. Manhattan, change your profession to architect! Have you built your home out of fictional materials using nothing but the power of your mind? Well, me too. But let's stop daydreaming. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of future and futuristic videos. Thanks for watching.